So I'm having some plant deaths lower in the property and I want to walk through and just talk about that. If everything was dying that I planted this year, uh, maybe something's wrong with the soil or how I planted them, the timing of when I planted them, if I had a frost, that would make sense. But uh, these three are like abnormal, they're uh, anomalies, so um, I don't yet know. I think it's an issue with uh, lack of sun. I also haven't been watering them, uh, but I haven't been watering everything. Uh, I just let whatever wants to grow, grow. And some things have survived and even thrived without human intervention. So if I was watering all the time, I wouldn't be able to see the three seedling trees die that, uh, that I'm about to show. And I wouldn't be able to make this observation if I was constantly making inputs. And I think this is way more valuable that I planted a few things. I left them all alone and some didn't succeed. And I get to learn from that of just uh, watch it and see what I need to do next year. Or maybe I need to stop fighting it and uh, plant something more appropriate for that microclimate. So this is the, the general area and you can see it is decently shaded but here is a crab apple there's you know a little bit of green down there but at the very least it's not looking healthy I have two more that I won't focus on but they have came from the same nursery and they were a success so it's not the nursery it's not how they held their plants Here's, here's one, it's, it's just a stick. So, so yeah, not, not going to give up on it, but it's not doing well. And again, I know that it's not doing well because I have other things planted in this area that are doing well. Here's a really good example. Two mulberries came up from seed. I spread seed all across this uh, hillside. Uh, most of them didn't have success because, again, no human intervention of just seeing what works. Two of them came up right here because this is the spot where I actually did some prep work for, let's see if you can see it, for this tree right here. And it did not do well. And this is a aged charcoal so I don't think that's the issue sometimes if you put charcoal or biochar that's really new around a plant it will uh, it'll take all the nutrients and it will actually kill the plant or prevent things from growing but uh, this is very well aged and it has compost in it as well so the timing was good some other trees from this batch I don't even think you can see it on this on this video but yeah a lot, of, a lot of dead. But yeah, that's it. There are uh, three failures and five or six successes. And it's all in this area. So what's the solution? What do I think that I could do with this information? Well, the mulberries probably were doing the, the best. But that's a very hardy species. It grows in... A lot of different soil types, a lot of different climates. So that was kind of an easy one to grow there. And then I can start to look at the different conditions of that area. I know that it's shaded. I can just, I, I have this information, but I'm trying to convey if you had a similar problem, what you could do. You could look at the soil, other things that are naturally growing. But I think I should stop trying to plant trees there because there are mature trees and I was wanting some, um, some, something to block wind and things like that. But I think maybe I should go in the direction of get something up quickly, man-made, like slatted wood structure, and then make sure or uh, check if mushrooms will grow there because they do well in a shaded area. There's all sorts of things. These are just like oversimplified um, way of thinking about this, but you don't have to know all the answers. You can just say, 
oh, that's happening. I'm going to try this. And I think you're going to get to the end goal a lot quicker if you start thinking like that rather than, okay, something's wrong. I need to go do a week worth of research. No, just like take action. Try something.